In terms of how this all came about, obviously the details are quite disturbing when we look at the lawsuit and look at uh, what you and, and Cassie have told the media so far. Um, had there been prior incidents of anti-Semitism toward you specifically outside the context of this sexual assault survivor group that you had been dealing with previously? You know, it's hard to compare with the extremist angle of, of this case. Um, there are many uh, anti-Semitic or, or, or anti-Semitic language and, and there are many cases of anti-Semitism across college campuses all around, but um, I did not feel the hostility to this extent before this event. And I believe that Cassie would agree with me that before this event, we were, you know, we felt very great on campus. There is a great Jewish community on campus. We felt surrounded by our people and we felt very supported. And and that doesn't take away from, from the Jewish community today, but the the extremism of this case, you know, makes it so hard to compare to all other kinds of um, anti-Semitism that we might have faced before. In terms of the, the forum that it's actually coming from, I think it's it makes it even that more, much more shocking, I bet, to the conscious that this is coming from a sexual assault survivors group. One would think intuitively that it would be a group that, that rallies around everybody, that finds a way to support people. It, it's obviously not a, a political organization by any stretch of the imagination. Did, did it come a, as an extra surprise to you that this is where this kind of harsh anti-Semitism is, is coming from? Absolutely. Uh, it was absolutely shocking and very dehumanizing for both Cassie and I as survivors to come to this space and seek help, seek support, and seek a platform in which we can uh, protest and, and advocate for, for justice and advocate for the reform that we want to see on campus. And we're told that we are incapable to do so because of our national origin and our history. It was absolutely shocking. Um, and it was even more so disappointing to then, after talking with Jewish on campus, to hear that we weren't the first case where this happened. And to hear that, you know, this is really a problem across all college campuses across the United States that, um, like you said very well, the extent of it reached survivorship, which is horrific and, like I said, dehumanizing um, and takes, for me and Cassie, the trauma to a whole other level because part of being a survivor is your identity was taken away from you and your voice is taken away from you and you're silenced and you have no control over your safety and your well-being on campus. And that is exactly what happened to us threefold.